feel like I still. Morning. Good morning. You sleep well, sexy. Oh yes. Just gonna go down and put you some coffee on. Uh, no, no coffee. I, I'm fine. You're more than fine. You fancy? Uh... <laughs> Ooh, the stamina. <laughs> no, I think I'll have to decline this time. You've all but worn me out. <laughs> I'll get the bacon on them. No, don't. Uh, have you ever spoken to a party first thing in the morning? He's like a bear with a sore head. We best just keep out of the way. <coughs> Emily, I'm just sick of it. She's not even supposed to be in the cell, but I won't bring you up. Remember, this is our little secret, please. Well, you're in charge. I'll cut your breakfast next time. I'm not just going to chuck her out. Why don't you just chuck her out? She's got Ramley staying in the village. You can all see it's her dad. Anyway, she... Our little secret, remember? How oh, could I forget? She just stopped and gave some thought to what she did. Hello? Morning. Is that the door? No. Any come for going? So how's, um, Sid? Is he well? Uh, fine, actually. Nicola, why do you do it with Sid of all people? It's just a one-off. Well, that's worse. You're demeaning yourself. We both got what we wanted. Bagsy first in the shower. And the tent in tears. <laughs> what are you talking about? You and Sid. Oh. And I know you're going to get hurt, even if you say it was just a one-night stand. <sighs> I wouldn't worry about it. Of course I should worry. You're coming here with that smile on your face for now, and I know there's a storm coming. Is this all you do all day? Think about my sex life? No. I'm just concerned. Sid ain't right for you. It wasn't even Sid. You what? It was somebody else. Who? It was Robert. Robert Sugden. But keep it quiet. I don't want everyone to know. Robert Sugden is nothing but a boy. Not now, he isn't. What were you thinking? What long ago I were babysitting Robert? In our house? Nicola! Oh, calm down! I haven't broken any laws. He's old enough. I can't believe I'm hearing this. What on earth do you think you're doing? It was completely natural between two consenting adults. And whatever you say, he is an adult. Even if he has just done his GCSEs. Nicola! The village virgin. You should get a shirt with a B on it. Like Superman, except his virgin man. <laughs> Feet off. How's it going, Big B? <laughs> Grow up, Donna. It must be awful knowing your brother's got more experience than you. He's my stepbrother. And besides, I forget it. Cherry cock, you drink it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at him, poor desperate Robert. Not that desperate. You're pure as the driven snow, Rob. Untouched and as delicate as a little flower. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, don't fret. You'll find somebody to do it with someday. Maybe another millennium, <laughs> but... <laughs> Did it last night, for your information. Does she live in a field? Did they call her Barbara? <laughs> <laughs> no, I scored big style. Not with some giggling little girl either. I lost it to an experienced woman. Edna Birch! <laughs> Are you finished? Who was it then? Come on, Rob, spill the beans. Did she teach you a couple of tricks? He's got quite an imagination. Shame the rest of him is pathetic. <laughs> Why don't you ask Nicola if I'm pathetic? Nicola Blackstock. What? <laughs> you are so sad, Rob. Yeah, as if even Nicola would sink uh, that low. <laughs> You don't have to believe me. And quite frankly, I don't care whether you do or not. Because I had the best night of my life. And I'm pretty sure she did and all. Whatever, Studley. <laughs> what can I get you? Oh, nothing, thanks. Just looking for our Robert. Well, he was here earlier, soiling my furniture, but he's gone now. <sighs> Teenagers, eh? Tell me about it. One minute he's as miserable as sin, the next he's offering to make me tea with this big smirk on his face. Well, you know what that'll be, don't you? Yeah, I've just worked it out. What? 
Have either of you two heard about our Robert with a new girlfriend? No. Well, he was out all night and he came in this morning looking like the cat who'd got the cream. If any of you hear anything, I'd appreciate it. You do right, Jack. Got to keep an eye on them at this age. Don't I know it. Nicole Blackstock. I've got something to tell you. You have any second thoughts, are you? No, it's about Nicola. What, now? She wasn't with Sid last night. Oh, I don't really care about all that. I just can't wait till she's gone. I think you will care about it, and I don't want you to fly off the handle. Am I? Is it me you're talking to? Come on, then. Who was it? You are scraping the bottom of the barrel? No, not exactly. Well, oh, there's no easy way to say it. Hey, what's the matter? You don't to worry me now. It was Robert Sugden. <laughs> Robert Sugden? <laughs> Yeah, only, only five minutes ago, he was about knee high. Belly out of short pants. Robert Sugden. You're not telling me that Robert Sugden and Nicola are. Paddy! No, you're not. You're not. You are, aren't you? My God. And I've told her what I think about it, and under our roof and everything, and I'm really disappointed in her. But we've got to forget about them, because he's going to be here soon, and we've got to be focused. Emily! She cleared up his puke! You don't think she gets turned on by that sort of thing, do you? Paddy! We've got to concentrate, and I am stunned! Well, my neck is here already. 